assist him to get his kite up. We'll see how that works for him. Four years ago, tomorrow. This is where we're going. And all the restaurants are closed. Let's go Ducks. I got porcanes, tostadas, and panuchos. Found another dream home. So we're not sure what the future may hold, but it always looks bright. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Four years ago, tomorrow, we filmed our very first vlog. And 11 years ago, today was our first date. Ever. <laughs> Met him at a Mexican food restaurant. Semi-blind date, didn't know what he looked like, especially with this small. <laughs> we met online. <laughs> the rest is history. Now we're out searching for food in El Cuyo, Mexico. Down the dirt lane and hoping there's a restaurant somewhere around here. And this is where we're going. Wednesday to Sunday. What's today? Oh, it's Tuesday. We have to try it tomorrow. Next. And now we're back downtown. And it is every bit as sleepy as outside of downtown, which was like 50 feet that way. One of the downsides of being in a sleepy little town is it's like 6.20 on Tuesday and all the restaurants are closed. So we're gonna find something <laughs> soon. Nobody loves the University of Washington. I have texts that prove that you don't love the University of Washington. <laughs> this is true. This is tortillas de camarones. Uh, empanizado means it's fried shrimp uh, on a sandwich with cucumber and avocado. You can't really go wrong with fried shrimp on a sandwich. Like, that's, that's about it. That's amazing. It's pretty good. That looks wonderful. It's pretty good. Oh, my man's coming with more food. That's a good time. I got porcanes, tostadas, and panuchos. Oh. Oh wow, they're totally different. They're really good. They have a, it seems like they have beans in the middle of them. And then they have some cabbage and some sauce. I really like these. By the way, those are, that's all of his and they're 10 pesos a piece. Wow. You guys all done? That was really good. Oh, look, it's gone. Wait, I'm not done. I'm gonna lick my plate. Yes, that was fantastic. For the win. Now we're stuck, time to go to bed. 11 years since I first met you. It really has. <laughs> Feels like yesterday. I can still remember the nervousness of uh, first date. Because I, I liked him enough that I decided to go in his car, never do that, and go to the room. Moon up 
up there. Good night. Here we go. We're going to look for some flamingos. Found your new ski boat. We're at Ria Lagartos. Lots of flamingos. It's really pretty here. Definitely worth a little drive from town. You could even walk it easily. Um, not Rio Lagartos, Ria Lagartos. They are different. We uh, almost made that mistake. There's little fish jumping here. It's crazy. There's thousands and thousands of little fish right here on the shore. And you know, flamingos. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Wow. Oh, no. Thankfully, it didn't go over my shoe. I went, took a step and broke through the crust and it went and slid out like a skate. check these guys out kite surfing a little bit more and then just go enjoy some of this this is one of my favorite places we've been i like the secludedness of it and the beach is beautiful just an absolutely chill little relaxed beach town there's pretty much just kite borders and locals here this is really neat people watching is fantastic <laughs> watching the kite surfers around here i could sit here for hours just watching them try and get their skill better or the ones that are fantastic watching them jump so can anyone be a kite boarder yeah but first you gotta start off being a kite bitch and then you work your way up to actually being a kite boarder it's uh it's like a mr miyagi thing all water chop wood on your way to enlightenment be a kite bitch all i heard was you wax off <laughs> will you pump my cat up for me you can on sure High five! Have you met my wife? <laughs> Rare to find sand this nice. The sand here is really just perfect sand. I thought that was supposed to be on your feet and that was supposed to be dragging you. Oh! Oh! Almost killed you with the knuckles. brother thanks appreciate it i'm learning every muscle every tiny little muscle in my body is being used i didn't even know i had them nice oh, that's amazing how does it feel to score a perfect 10 in the first competition of the season feels pretty good i feel like there's room for improvement on the 10 still Found another dream home. It even comes with iguanas. Just got back to our room and got a message that our cruise to Japan has been canceled. So we're not sure what the future may hold, but it always looks bright. This is our last morning in El Cuyo. We're packing up, getting ready to head back to Cozumel. Something that's made this trip even more relaxing for me is that we didn't bring the laptop. So while we've been filming, haven't had the ability to do any editing whatsoever, which has made this even more relaxing. All in all, this has been an amazing trip. Pack it up. It's the worst part of the whole trip. Leaving this beautiful place. 
What's up, girl? That was a nice pee shot. Thank you very much. <laughs> what do you guys think of El Cuyo and Lunarena? I want to come back. And uh, this is like the perfect quiet little beach town that I think everyone wants. And uh, wait, are you going to tell people about this place? I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Don't, don't tell anybody. It's horrible. Holbosch. Holbosch oh my is God, where you, you want to go. go. Holbosch is way better. Yeah. No, this place is I may blur out the name when I put it on. Uh, I feel like we're 20 years ahead of schedule on this one. That's Jaime. Your, uh, what's up? He runs a kiteboarding school. Hola amigos. How are you? <laughs> what's the name of your kiteboarding school? Tropical Kite Surf here at El Cuyo at L Lunarena Beach Boutique Hotel. You're more than welcome, kite surfers and non kite surfers. I loved El Cuyo. It's laid back, the people are wonderful, and we found great places to eat. I definitely want to come back here. It's really nice to find a place that hasn't been ruined by tourism. All the people are so nice. They just like chill. It's wonderful. This is definitely a return to. So in whole Bosch, you gotta pay like 50 bucks for a guy to take you to boat out to see the flamingos. Here, you literally drive through them on the way to town. <laughs> so on the road back to Cozumel. It's like foam. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>